Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, so it's Raven and we are back at my house. I can say that now because this is my future house. If you guys saw my last house hunting vlog, you guys saw that I picked this house. I'm going to be building this house. But today what I wanted to do is walk you back through the house again and actually discuss which upgrades I'm going to be getting, what features are going to be on my version of this house, which ones I'm not getting, and just kind of get a better feel for what my actual house is going to look like because obviously this is the model home. I have my list of what upgrades I'm getting. I'm going to kind of explain, you know. First off, I want this door. This is thing number one. Um, obviously, I'm going to have the same like hallway thing too. So that's going to be the same. And I want this basically this exact door, except it's going to have a different type of glass on it to where it's not like totally see-through. But I really like this style of iron door. And it's a three-foot door. You can get a four-foot door, but I feel like that was just way too big. So I'm gonna have a three foot iron door. Um, and then of course, all this stuff is still gonna be the same. The layout of the home is the same. All the rooms, the bathrooms, I mean, pretty much all the bones of the home, that's what I chose when I chose this home. So that's gonna be the same. For the stairs, if I want hardwood stairs, if I want carpet on the stairs like they have it here, then I'll have to decide what kind of carpet, what color all that stuff, and then also with even the banisters, you're picking every detail. You're picking this detail, this detail, this detail, this detail, it's like all separate stuff that you're picking as well as the colors of it. So I'm leaning towards um, something like this with a nice iron symbol detail and probably a very, very dark wood, something similar to this, very like sleek and straight, but even darker than this color. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do wood right here or carpet but I'm gonna look at what the options are and I'll be deciding that. The office is gonna be in the same spot. Of course, I'm gonna have my desk and my computer and I'm gonna have it set up differently. I'm not gonna have this um, extra molding. This type of stuff costs extra. I don't feel like it's gonna be necessary for my office, so mine is probably just gonna be a plain white wall. And then I'm gonna have, you know, my own decorations, my own furniture in there. We've got the powder room. Not really adding or changing much about it. I don't think I'm gonna have shiplap on the walls like they do. I'm not gonna have this exact same tile on the floors like they do. And here, this is my studio glam room, makeup room. Um, I'm planning on having built-ins put in here. So what I'm thinking is probably either on this wall or this wall, I'm gonna have a bunch of like shelving, drawers, just built-in storage stuff where I'm gonna have all my makeup and my wigs like displayed on the top and like drawers and stuff for my makeup and stuff. And then, you know, over here I have all these nice windows to where it can shine light probably onto this back wall where I might put like backdrop paper or something to where I can film like little sit down videos. It's gonna have some sort of desk table thing in the middle and then backdrops. So basically, you can imagine me sitting right here with my camera here, and I have a backdrop behind me, and I have all my makeup on this wall, and I can like film a video, like a sit down video right here. And then there's the bathroom. My shower is gonna be all tile, and I think it's gonna have a seat right here, like a little built in ledge. And it's gonna be all tile right here instead of this little white thing. What I like is just white cabinets. This style of cabinet, this is a shaker style, so this is good, but I would have it painted white, and I don't like the fact that there's no handles on it. So I'll probably have some nice, you know, handles. Um, the counters, this is pretty good. Um, I do want just like white quartz. I'm not exactly sure which exact one. There is an option to make this balcony thing right here curve outward. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna leave it how you see it here. As I mentioned in the end of my other vlog, I am getting the version two of this house, which has like a whole extra, they call it a planning center. It's basically like a desk area, like a little mini office type of thing, like a home workstation. It's like a different room with like a built-in desk countertop thing. So, you know, kids can do homework at it. If, if I had an assistant, they can use that desk or just this extra storage, extra 
desk space so that's going to be a whole extra room that's like added in this area as well as the laundry room is going to be a lot bigger than this so this laundry room only has the sink and this little counter right here but mine is going to have the laundry room is like almost twice as big and the countertops go like all the way around in an l shape and then you have another space for the washer and dryer and then you even have a space to put a refrigerator so the laundry room is going to be a lot bigger and it's going to have a lot more storage, counters, cabinets. It's going to have a sink, possibly a refrigerator if I decide to put one in. So that's going to be really nice. So the planning center desk area thingy, that's a whole extra room that's being added, plus the bigger laundry room with all the countertops, plus the pantry is going to be bigger. That's the other thing that you get extra. This archway is still going to be the same, still going to have that. This is a big reason why I like this house. I really like that feature, so that's still gonna be the same. That's just standard, that's how the house comes. This fireplace, there are a bunch of different options for fireplaces. The standard, you know, more affordable option is just like that typical little little thingy that goes around it. This, having it tiled all the way up to the ceiling is an upgrade, it's expensive, but I really like it. I guess I maybe might have to compromise something in the middle. You know, but I do like the flat tile as opposed to that traditional, like, what is that called? What is that called? It's a mantle. Yeah. Um, like the mantle. It's a fireplace around with a mantle. So yeah, there. this is one of those things that's not like set in stone, no pun intended. Um, so I'm probably gonna get at least some type of flat tile thing. I really don't want the standard mantle thingy. I know I'm not getting that. I'm gonna get some tile. I might not go all the way up to the ceiling, but then if I change my mind, you know, I can change it. So something kind of like this, maybe not as spectacular, but that's what I'm pretty much thinking. And speaking of the ceiling. Oh, so the ceiling, this crosshatch beam that you're seeing up here, um, those are faux beams, so they're hollow, which you would think would make it cheaper, but <laughs> that's a very expensive feature. I think she said it costs 12, $12,000 just with those crisscross thingies on the ceiling and they're not even real beams. So I decided not to add that on. If I want to do it later, I can add it on. I can get somebody else to do it, add it on later. But like that was really expensive just for that little feature. So I decided to not do that because my money is going right here. You guys know that the sliding door was like one of the main things that I really, really wanted. It is an upgrade. That is a 15 foot sliding door, so it slides all the way open across this whole wall. It matches up with where the windows are. It's as wide as, you know, where all the windows are. You can also get a 12 foot door, so it won't take up the whole entire wall, but I, I want the 15 foot door, and that is going to be approximately, let me look at my paper. 14,000. And $11. Let me tell you exactly. So I have, I literally have my paperwork right here because I just got done talking to the lady where we priced out all the options that I want to get, all the upgrades that I want to get. <laughs> it's a lot of money. And when you look at the price of each little thing that you want to upgrade, it's just like, whoa. It definitely drives up the cost of the house from just the basic standard price of the home. So for the 15 foot multi-slide door in the family room, it's going to be $14,900. Oh, I was off by about $800. <laughs> so yeah, this is a, my $15,000 15 foot door, but I just, I have to have it. So that's something that I'm adding, but I'm not gonna add the $12,000 beans on the ceiling. So there's that. This little curve thingy right here on the balcony, that is extra, that's an upgrade. I am going to add that just so I think it adds a nice little feature. Like I said, the pantry is going to be bigger. So this pantry is kind of like a narrow, it's narrow, but it's very long, very deep. I mean, this pantry is already quite large as it is. My pantry is going to be like double, double wide version of this. Um, and it's going to be slightly different placement. So see how the pantry door is like right here. The refrigerator will be there. Yeah, this is where the refrigerator will be then the pantry door will actually be like right here somewhere so the pantry is actually going to be dividing up between where the refrigerator is and where the like microwave oven is 
And I'm actually not gonna get double ovens because of course this is an upgrade and I don't need that because Uber Eats, but I'm just gonna have it regular where you have your oven and your microwave. So like over here, it'll just be a cabinet. Actually, no, it'll be nothing, it'll be the your cabinets are gonna end. My cabinets is gonna be like this. It's gonna cut right here, and that's gonna be the end of my thing. It's not gonna turn this corner because, like, the pantry door is gonna be right there, and then you're gonna have your fridge. So it's just gonna be a slightly this from here to here is gonna be all different. It's gonna be in a in a different order. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna have this L-shaped thing, which is kind of cool, but I don't feel like it's that. Like literally, it's this. Like it's not that big of a video. So this is the floor plan, ignore my broken nail. So my countertops are gonna cut off right here. I'm not gonna have the L-shaped counters because the pantry door is gonna be right here. Right here, they have it to where the microwave and the oven is right here at the end of the countertop. I don't want it like that. I'm actually gonna move the microwave and the oven over here by the refrigerator so that it's more similar to what you see in this house right now. And so the doorway is just gonna be in between there. So I'll have all countertops going here. It'll stop, there'll be a door, more countertops, microwave, oven, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Ref microwave, oven, more countertops, and then refrigerator. They don't put the refrigerator Anyway, y'all get the main idea. <laughs> y'all get the main idea, okay? So, okay, okay. Where you're standing, that's okay, gonna say right the same. This is gonna be the door. That's the door. It's going to, the countertop's gonna go doop, like that, and this is gonna be the door. Right. We're gonna be going into the pantry. And then... Oven this, stays right the here. The difference between right here is that we're separating this. With the countertop. So there's gonna be a, We don't want the oven right next to the fridge. That's actually not a good idea. I don't well, know why. Although they have it... <laughs> they did it. The fridge they right here. did it in this house, but apparently you're not supposed to do that. So we're gonna separate this, and we're gonna put the fridge is gonna be shifted since obviously this is not gonna be here because that's over there now. So the fridge gets shifted one over. This stays where it's at, but since we're shifting the fridge, we're adding a counter space in between to separate this. But other than that, the kitchen is gonna be exactly the same. Um, obviously for my cabinets, again, like I said in the bathroom, I want white cabinets, I want cute little knobs or whatever. I'm not gonna do the same exact backsplash. I kind of like this canopy hood thingy, whereas typically you would just have like the little thing and then it would be a cabinet above it. Um, this is an upgrade. But I think it looks really cool. So I don't know. Uh, I'm still gonna have this, I think it's this exact one, right? That I'm gonna have in terms of the, um, mm -hmm. whatever it's called, stove, <laughs> burner. It's gonna look like this. Countertops, I want white quartz countertops. Again, I don't know the exact one that I want. I'm gonna have to pick that once I see the options. I already told you guys that I'm definitely not going to be putting backsplash on this whole entire wall over here because that is thousands of dollars. So my backsplash is just going to cut off as normal right here and this is just gonna be a regular wall. Hello, camera. <laughs> um, all this stuff over here is gonna be the same. Windows are the same. Layout is the same. This door over here off the kitchen is still gonna be the same because it's good to have a regular door so that you don't always have to open that big old sliding door. But again, I am getting the sliding door. <laughs> so these cabinets are an upgrade because they go all the way up to the ceiling. Normally the cabinets stop at this first like level. That's standard. And it would just be empty up there. You could put like little vases and stuff up on top of your cabinets but having this whole thing up here is extra. You can do where like, it's like do, 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 do. Like some of them go up, some of them don't, and it's kind of like a stair step look. I actually don't like the way that looks. So for me, it's either gonna have to be all low or all high. <laughs> you can probably guess which one I like. Islands still gonna be the same. Again, I'm just gonna have my own countertop choices, my own cabinet choices. I definitely want a nice deep farmhouse sink like how they have over there. Of course, I'm gonna pick my own, uh, you know, faucet fixtures. I'll probably have like some brass stuff. So the patio, of course, having the baby slide door is gonna make the patio a big feature. Um, and I feel like for me personally, I like having the concrete patio space 
I prioritize over having a bunch of grass space. So this is the biggest patio option that you can get that you see here. Typically the regular standard patio is probably like, it's not it's like way back here. It's only this big. So this is like twice as big. There's actually three. You can get like small, medium, large. This is large and I want the large. So my patio is going to be this big. And then also in the future, if I want to add like an outdoor kitchen, countertop grill thingy right here, and like put a TV on the wall, I can do that. And then have plenty of space for like a table, chair, seating area. And then I'm still going to have, you know, backyard grass space too, because my backyard is going to be a decent size. So there's still going to be space to play. But Master bedroom, I am not really changing anything in here. I have the option to add a door so that I can go out onto my patio from my bedroom. I could put a door right here. I just, I was gonna do that, but then I decided against it just because it's kind of creepy. <laughs> so, and it's just not really totally necessary and I probably won't ever even use that door. So I decided against that. So the room is still gonna be the same. Oh, but this is a extension on this room. So the actual standard room is like this big. <laughs> it stops right here. So this is the jumbo version, the upgraded version. So yeah, this is an upgrade and of course they tricked me. <laughs> they didn't trick me, but I didn't even know that this was an upgrade at first. And so now it's like, I can't even imagine not having it, you know? Cause now it's like, well actually it would really be this small. It's like, oh man. So I'm definitely gonna upgrade to this size. In the bathroom, a surprise upgrade that I didn't know about was the shower. The shower is one foot bigger than the standard shower. Of course, that costs extra. Um, having the tile go all the way up to the ceiling costs extra. And having the frameless door where you don't see any metal going around, that also costs extra. So you can imagine how different the standard shower would actually look and again, that's one of those things where it's like, now that I've already seen it, now I want this one. So I'm going to be doing something very similar to this. It's going to have the rainfall thingy at the top too. This um, standalone tub is an upgrade, so that costs extra, but I actually don't want this. I want the regular tub that has what they call decking around it, where it's actually like boxed in and you get like, it's almost like a little mini countertop space that you get around it. So you can put your candles and stuff. So I'm actually going to get the standard version rather than this upgraded version. Of course, I'll be picking my own flooring. Not sure at all what kind of flooring I'm gonna be picking. Standard flooring is typically a 12 or 15 foot square tile. Everything else is an upgrade and there are probably a million tiles you can pick, but. Yeah, I mean, I like very, like I probably wouldn't get anything this ornate. So it's probably gonna be something simple, something neutral. I just don't know exactly what. Same goes for the um, countertop and the cabinets. I like these white cabinets. I like a neutral top. I don't know if I'm gonna do the same white countertops that I want and everything else, or maybe something a little bit different, a little fancier or something, I don't know. And the mirrors are not standard. Yeah, the standard mirrors is just like when they take a mirror that doesn't even have a border around it and they just glue it to the wall. <laughs> So they said that you could just not have them put any mirrors up. You can go buy your own mirrors and hang them, which is probably what I'll do. Closet, as we mentioned before, I want to do a custom closet. So when they build the house, this is like what they would normally put in, but I'm going to ask them to just not put in anything so I can have a blank canvas and I can hire somebody else to come in and do a custom closet. So again, I am going to keep this curved balcony thingy. Standard one would just be straight, but I like the curved one. Um, got the playroom, really nothing to change or add into here. The media room, like I said before, is an extra optional add-on that I will not be adding on, so this will just be a wall. So we're starting to get to the part where I was getting stressed, <laughs> and I'm still a little stressed about it because I did not know what to do about these bathrooms and I'm sure you guys are going to weigh in on the comments let me know what you would have done but as it stands right now it's a Jack and Jill bathroom meaning you have a separate vanity that goes into the first bedroom which by the way this bedroom is going to be Zaya's room 
And the only change that we're making to it is we're adding another window over here. Because I want to bring in more light and I think it just needs to be symmetrical. So that's the only change we're making to this room. Um, and that's going to be Zaya's room because it is, it has like a slightly better orientation to it. And I think it is like slightly bigger. I don't have the piece of paper, but I think it's like the tiniest bit bigger than the other bedroom. So yeah, the Jack and Jill bathrooms. You have the separated vanity that goes to one bedroom. Then you come into the shared space where you have the shared toilet and the shared bathtub. Then it closes off again and you get the separate vanity that goes with the other bedroom. Obviously that's why they call it Jack and Jill. So that means that the guests and Zaya will be sharing a bathroom, sharing a toilet, sharing a tub. They have their own vanities, but the tub and the toilet is like the important part. So I really didn't want that. I would rather them have their own separate bathrooms all together. That way the guest room is a completely closed off space. We keep it clean, we keep it nice. Nobody touches it until guests actually come over. So I wanted it to be two separate bathrooms. So what I can do is basically they can put a wall right here and then they can split it into two bathrooms. Each bathroom has its own toilet and each bathroom has its own tub. Obviously that splits it into two smaller bathrooms though, meaning that even Zaya's bathroom is gonna be kind of small, but at least she'll have her own full bathroom. And the total bathroom space, I mean, it's, we looked at another bathroom in another house that represents the size that Zaya's bathroom will be. A million dollar house, no less. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It, it was, was a million dollar nice, house. It was a very nice house, very large house, and it had a bathroom for Just one of the like bedrooms that. that would be the same thing. It's not the, it's, it's like a standard normal size, I guess, but to me, it just felt a little small, a little cramped. The only thing is, so like, her vanity would have to shrink a little bit. It would be like, like this big. You're like losing a few inches on either side of countertop space and like cabinet space underneath. Um, and then, you know, it would be the toilet. Obviously this wall wouldn't be right here. It would just all be one room. This gets taken away. The toilet is next. And then you have a tub that goes this way. And for Zaya's room, I want her to still be able to have a tub so it's going to be this normal tub shower thing how you normally see but then in the guest room i would want them to be able to have a nice stand-up shower so how it is in the downstairs glam room bathroom i would put one of those in this bathroom instead of the tub thingy and they would have that and then the toilet and then a smaller vanity i don't care if the guest bathroom is small because it's a guest bathroom but the fact that Zaya's bathroom has to be kind of small, that was kind of bothering me. But as my mom said, it's really not small. Cause if a million dollar home has a bathroom that's that same size, then is it really small? And as long as it has everything in there that you need, it shouldn't really matter. So I am still pretty sure that that's what I'm gonna do. I already know that when I move in, I'm gonna put my current basically my current master bedroom furniture is gonna go in the guest room and then I'm gonna get new stuff for my master. And it'll just be a nice guest room and it'll be all closed off into its own thing with its own bathroom so it can stay nice and clean. And yeah, I think that's actually pretty much it. Hopefully this gave you guys a better idea of what I'm actually gonna be getting in my house. I know a lot of people were confused because they're like, are you moving into this house that you're standing in right now? No, this is the model home and I'm building my own version of this exact house. So that tells you all the stuff that I am getting. Like I said, I have it all priced out on this paper. And basically, I already put my deposit down for my lot that I'm gonna be building on. So my next steps are gonna be to sign some paperwork that says I'm sure about all these options that I just told you about. And I'm gonna sign a paper that says, okay, you're locked into these structural options the bigger master, the bigger patio, all that stuff. So that's my contract saying, okay, this is the house that you're getting with these options. Ready, and as she explains, go, once go. she gets the plans done, she can't, it's really expensive to change plans. Yeah, so. so from there you can't change it. So right now I'm about to go home and sleep on this. All this stuff that I just told you and explained to you, 
I'm gonna sleep on it. I'm gonna make sure that I'm sure that I'm sure I wanna like split the bathroom up and all that stuff. That I'm sure I won't pay all this money for all this <laughs> extra stuff. And then I'm gonna sign a contract that says, okay, this is the house that we're gonna be building for you on the lot that you put a deposit for. In order to even get to the step that I'm at right now, I had to get pre-approved and go through all the technical stuff for the mortgage and the financing of the home and we are going to be doing a separate video all about that so if you guys want to know more of the nitty gritty of the actual process of buying a home financing the mortgage all that stuff that i had to do to even get to the point of picking my options definitely stay tuned for that video that's going to be coming up next on my channel i'm going to have my mom in the video so she can help explain some more of the details and yeah but for this video i just kind of wanted to walk you through the house again and hopefully um you guys could like understand <laughs> what I was trying to, you know, get you to envision. And of course, just stay tuned for the rest of my series. I'm gonna be taking you guys through the whole entire process of building the house, furnishing the house. You're gonna see every step of the way. So just make sure that you are subscribed and have your notifications turned on. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for all the options that I chose. Leave your comments down below, especially about the bathroom and stuff. What do you think? Let me know. And yeah, that's everything. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.